Michael Gove should get a ten and a half out of ten for really? his Why job as that? education secretary. In the last forty years, there hasn't been an education secretary that has done so much good for education as Michael Gove. And those head teachers should be ashamed of themselves for heckling him at this conference. He went there to have a constructive conversation with them, as he says, and all he gets from them is criticism because they're not listening. They've got the blinds down, and they want nothing to do with any of his changes. But they say which, that all they get from him is criticism and hectoring. That's what they say. Well, what Which he's is one doing, of the reasons why that newspaper, the Independent on Sunday, gave him an E for attitude, as in bottom of the class, for attitude. Yes, but what the paper doesn't recognise is that the people that he's dealing with are so extreme in their position that he has to take the point of view of mm -hmm. taking charge and not swaying, because if he were to give an inch, they would take a mile. They are completely unreasonable. They're worried about the privatization of education or the um, introduction of all kinds of private sector forces. So, for example, some academies and free schools are accused of paying up to £100,000 to uh, their American backers in order to be able to use that curriculum, a curriculum that might come from the state. What you just said is absolute nonsense, honestly. It's just made up, and it's made up by uh, the, the mad extreme uh, extremists involved here. And they, I do call them extremists. But who, this is faithfully reported by a journalist in one of the papers today. That's just say, nonsense. Yeah. I know this. It's nonsense. Yeah. Um, the fact of the matter is, the American curriculum that you're talking about is by E.D. Hirsch, which is about uh, instilling knowledge in our children and having them being taught properly in schools.